Hey, this uh, this video is like um, an experiment from my uh, Patreon. Um, by the way, and this is a disclaimer, I haven't spoke English in a very very long time, like in three or four years. So I'm sorry if I made too many mistakes in, you know. Whatever, we were here to see the, the illustration, right? So, <clears throat> I want to correct some some stuff later, but uh, so far this is what I have. It's like a, a Nordic goddess of hunting. So she, of course, has uh, a uh, bow and uh, a little knife there. And a big, big, big coat of fur, and his fellow friend Wolf. So, since it's Nordic, I, I imagine some very cold colors. But uh, before we go into the the colors uh, stage, which is already sold, by the way, I wanted to. To point some some stuff. When I when I do some illustrations, I try to think in terms of forms and depths. So in terms of form, we have this like almost horizontal lines, right? That kind of cuts the the canvas here right and in the back we will have a forest that will give us some horizontal lines right this maybe I, I don't, I'm not sure about this bush here although this little tree I don't know what it is but it can work to break some of the vertical lines there. so we have horizontal lines right versus vertical lines and then we have the a blocky form here right with a circle and a triangle a big triangle here another circle another block Another block here and the arm of the girl and the, the bow, right? Oh, and the tail of this, this fellow pet. So, so far we have um, very simple um, but noisy, very noisy um, background versus a very uh, simple blocky shape here that is the wolf and in front of, of all that we have uh, an even more simple form that contrasts with all that chaos in the back yeah so um, I like to um, contrast uh, you know, very noisy um, stuff versus very quiet stuff right because it works like that if you I don't know if you light uh, a flashlight in the day no one will notice because there is plenty of light so if there's there's plenty of noise back here and it's plenty of noise here um, it won't be readable right because everything with will be the same everything will be noisy everything will be chaos so if you want your character or your your main point of focus to be noisy you have to contrast that against a quiet uh, background or I don't know I, I could I could um, 
even make a not not so noisy a background entirely by I don't know maybe doing like a a gate pass here no? and then we can see all the noise there and this is uh, like a flat uh, wall of uh, stone maybe like that and it still works but you have to do that um, that contrast otherwise it will look boring and it won't have a um, rhythm <coughs> and the other thing I want to to point here is that we have this uh, focal point right this here are already the focal points so the entire um, composition will will lead us to there so the leg of the of the wolf will lead us to here and this will lead us there and then here and there this will lead us here to the other hand that will lead us to the for stuff to the face so if you we enter like here we, we will end up in the feet and then go up with the coat over there or maybe here or maybe there and then you catch with the, the feet right and then there that's it the, the composition needs to be um, um, very clear to say to you where is the focal point so uh, <clears throat> going to the, the gray scale uh, sorry, the, I mean the, the, the color uh, I want it to, to be very cold since this uh, Nordic and I will activate the, the first layers of this so this is what I thought at first um, more light in, light in the front and a shadow in the back so the shadow parts the, the this kind of forest will contrast against the the light um, hair otherwise it won't be so um, effective right I can even uh, solve that like it, it can have a, a different solution though I can um, make it bright like uh, that that's a little bit too much but it's just to make the example clear like that you know and and then put a, a, a dark tree here a big big tree but I don't want to do that because I want to I want her to be seen like she has been mm, scouting the 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 uh, forest without getting lost because she's a great hunter right um, I was thinking about putting some yellow here to put a little bit of contrast but uh, still still not sure about that maybe there I don't know I'll, I'll figure out that later and uh, um, I want to the, the background to be a little bit darker so I can do this with the, the trees yeah so it's like a, I don't know how it's called that kind of tree I think it's oak let me, let me check no it, it is not oak but you know which one is the, the white one the, the the white one with the black 
dark stripes. I will Google it later so I can have a a reference. So <clears throat> I don't want this to be entirely cold. I want to have some warm accents. So I did this. Maybe it's too red. I don't know. But I want to be I want some light to hit the, the model here, the the, the the girl, the the goddess. So it can look like a, she finally yeah uh, got got it across the the, the this forest. No, she was not 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 last, but uh, surely was it was not fun to cross a, such a big um, uh, forest. You know, so um, this way I can contrast the the cold of the back with the warm of the character. No, and create some accents. Um, so what I have planned right now is that this is very very um, uh, warm right now. So and since she's a goddess, her eyes will glow like shit, like this. So we can have a, a very good contrast with the stronger, um, the stronger colors, the warm colors here, and the colors, the, the cold colors over here, right? Like that. And of course, since the the sun is hitting this this part. It will not look so um, bright as the other side. See? So this will lighten a little bit of the the face here. Uh, I haven't drawn the, the face of the girl because I suck of, of um, portraits <clears throat> but I have to do it anyway at some point but um, okay so this is what I want to I wanted to show you before I <clears throat> I start rendering I like to uh, work with the, the layers um, Based on the the depth, the this the stuff I show you at first, and cast to that that way is simpler. No, um, I don't care having the I don't know the bracelet in the same layer that that the skin and the armor. It, it's okay with me because that that um, allows me to. Um, play more with the colors and contaminate a little bit more the, the colors and that make makes it look more natural uh, at least for, for my taste so <clears throat> I'll, I'll see you at the end of the process I guess and maybe maybe I narrate something in the middle of it I don't know you know what's going on, make some noise for Germany's XO gear, hip hop instrumentals.
um, <clears throat> I have this layer of uh, this black parts of the trees and the trees are, are they are not at a hundred percent of opacity but it doesn't matter it, it you can't tell that this is translucent unless I, I tell you right and I, I added some um, shadow here on top and then a little bit more in, in the sides so the, the character can pop a little bit more right and then I added some um, grass here branches and stuff So, so the the yellow is not too uh, focalized in into these three areas, right? We have this kind of uh, transitions between this and that here, and between between this and that here. Then I darken a little bit the the background. So the the shape here, the, the silhouette of the character could be more um, readable. And of course the wolf too. Then the same for the lower part, right? For the the lug and the leg and the the paw of the of this wolf there. And in this case, for the back of the of the characters, I did some like this wash of um. It's like fog, but it's not fog. It's just that shit. I I don't know how to describe it, but it's to to make the the silhouettes more readable. And then, in order to do the same and create more contrast in with this I darken a little bit of the wolf then some of this fog behind the, the character and then some occlusions the um, the string on of the bow and a layer of contrast because it, it was too gray and I wanted to be more vivid then some more uh, illumination with a uh, color dodge layer um, some magic coming out from the, the bow yeah, some glow in the in the eyes in the bow and in the eyes of the wolf there then a little bit of a uh, I don't know it's like it's not smoke but uh this strange magic here and some particles of the same magic then some uh, glow in the light parts where the, the light hits harder and then uh, a little uh, saturation just a bit and then a new adjust for the lights and, I, and finally a the signature now this is what I have right now but my client want me to add some stuff he wants the uh, the breast to be more um, uh, more evident not like she is showing up her boobs but um, like this 
can ask this uh, illustration is going to be an, a statue a, a figure so you can play in the the tabletop game later and he wants some braided hair here like that so I'm going to um, make those two changes and I think we'll be done